but he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. We live in a society where religion and faith is a major part of many people's lives. Only 7% of this world's population are atheists. Everyone else has some sort of faith. Many governments and leaders pride themselves in their religious belief. The workers of iniquity in high places make sure to keep their religious belief a secret because of its satanic nature. If the people knew what their leaders worship, they would disassociate themselves from their governments and leaders. Everything the leaders of this world do are ordered by the kingdom of darkness. This is why the scripture said, our weapon of warfare is not carnal. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. The most influential religion among the indigenous people is Christianity. Although Christians believe they are no longer under the control and doctrine of the Roman Catholic Church, the mother harlot continued to rule the Protestant Church. The Roman Catholic Church is the undisputed champions in all religion. They are the head leaders of the synagogue of Satan. The mother harlot, the Roman Catholic Church, control all religion. Remember, Satan said he would rule on the sides of the north. In addition, he would exalt himself above the throne of the Most High. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Satan's seat is on the sides of the north. The heart of the Roman Catholic Church is on the sides of the north. The land of the north is where certain species of mankind originate. And the beast systems say the origin of this strange species of mankind does not begin with Adam and Eve. The beast system can tell you a lot about this species of mankind through their remains, but their origins are unknown. The evolved new species of mankind traveled the world and conquered the indigenous people that are made in the image of the Most High. The Bible, whom the leaders of this world authorized to the public, revealed the spoilers would come from the north. And the heaven and the earth and all that is therein shall sing for Babylon. For the spoilers shall come unto her from the north, saith the Lord. The Most High has a history of sending nations against his people when they rebel against him and fall into idolatry. The land of the north is where Yah would find such people willing to carry out his judgments. And the Lord said unto me, Out of the north an evil shall break forth upon all the inhabitants of the land. For lo, I will call all the families of the kingdoms of the north, saith the Lord, and they shall come. And they shall set every one his throne at the entering of the gates of Jerusalem, and against all the walls thereof round about, and against all the cities of Judah. And I will utter my judgments against them, touching all their wickedness, who have forsaken me, and have burned incense unto other gods, and worship the works of their own hands. The spoilers that come from the north surely destroy the earth and devastated the indigenous people worldwide. We have an unknown species of people whom the scriptures know very well and identify as the seed of the fallen, fitting the description. However, the beast system wants to hide the identity of the strange species of mankind that are supposedly related to us. I am not sure how this new species of mankind are related to us, but their origins are unknown. If there are our distant relatives, their beginnings must be in the scriptures, just like the beginnings of the indigenous people that are made in the image of the Most High, the true humans of the world. So God created man in his own image. 
in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. The scriptures give two accounts of the beginning of people on this earth. Adam and Eve are the first indigenous black humans on earth. The scriptures give us a second account of people when an infiltration took place with the descendants of Adam and Eve. When the watchers took the daughters of men for wives and had children with them, a new species of mankind was born. And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. The beast system will skip this information and declare the children born from the union of the watchers and the daughters of men no longer exist. Never mind that there are multiple groups of people that come from the land of the north dwelling among the indigenous people with the watchers DNA. The workers of iniquity mask the identity of the infiltrated species by taking the identity of the indigenous people worldwide. This species of mankind is the face to every powerful nation in this world. This unknown species is ruling in the beast system. The authorized scriptures the synagogue of Satan made available to the public said we are dealing with spiritual wickedness in high places. In addition, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? I bring up that Satan said he would rule in the size of the north and the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. In addition, the strange species of mankind that still walk this earth to show the indigenous people a realistic view of the scriptures. Why is it that when I show the indigenous people how the scriptures and events that are taking place before our very eyes are parallel with the scriptures, YouTube and the other members of the synagogue of Satan have a problem and censor. I am reading out of the same Bible as the mother harlot. The fairy tale interpretations of the scriptures from the workers of iniquity are accepted in the beast system. The fairy tales seduce the people into letting their guards down. The scripture said, be vigilant because the enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking whom he can devour. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. When I remove the fairy tales from the doctrines of devils, compare what is written with history and current events, the synagogue of Satan scream hate. For many years, religion said the indigenous people were the curse of him and that was not considered hate. Now that we know what positions they play in the scriptures and who they are, it's racist. When I connect the characters in the scriptures with the people living today, the workers of iniquity declare conspiracy. The beast system associate the Bible, which is 100% of my content with religion. Majority of this world's population have some sort of faith. According to the beast system, my content, which is the Bible, is hate and conspiracy. But when the Roman Catholic Church and religious leaders weaponize the scriptures to brainwash the people, their content are promoted and remain on YouTube. I know you don't like truth, but the scriptures describe what you are doing. Good is now evil, and evil is declared good. Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil that put darkness for light, and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. The scriptures come alive when it is properly interpreted. The scriptures are not fairy tales that would result in a happy ending for all. The lake of fire is where the broad road is leading many. To the individuals who have jobs at Google and other social media platforms, as well as the journalists in mainstream media with no integrity, you will be held accountable for what you're doing, regardless if you were instructed by your wicked boss. Especially to the indigenous people who have positions in these satanic corporations that are following demonic orders. I must warn you because your blood will not be on my hands. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, 
and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. You become a partaker with the workers of iniquity in high places that instruct you to remove and interfere with the works of the Most High. Every death that takes place because of propaganda in the media, the journalist who helps spread misinformation to deceive the sheep, you will be held accountable. I know you're watching. To the journalists in mainstream media and other places that are fueling propaganda, you must give an account on Judgment Day for every single word you speak. The Roman Catholic Church, the Protestant Church, your race, your class, and whatever you believe in would not be able to save you. But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. I know many are not used to being held accountable for their contributions in the bee system. A time is coming when the fairy tales will end. You no longer can blame machine learning and AIs on Judgment Day. To the workers of iniquity, your hypocrisy is my motivation. Right now, we have reached a time where the remnant must be vigilant and seek the face of the Most High for instructions. Only the Most High can direct your steps. The kingdom of darkness is raging war. You must be able to hear the Most High to know your next step. Remember, the Most High is the one to direct your paths. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Indigenous people, beware of the walking dead. The population of the walking dead surpasses the remnant. The walking dead are individuals who are disconnected from the Most High. A spiritually dead person do not have any form of communication and relationship with the Most High. That is why they are the walking dead. The scripture said, the Most High is not the Elohim to the dead. He is not the God of the dead, but the God of the living. Ye therefore do greatly err. If the Most High is not the Elohim to the dead, who are the leaders of the walking dead? The scriptures made it clear that Satan is the God that is worshipped in the beast system. In addition, the world was given into the hands of the wicked. The spiritually dead are those who have accepted the beast culture and submit to the beast system. The spiritually dead have been deceived by the kingdom of darkness to believe they are worshiping and serving the Most High. The truth is they are worshiping Satan in disguise. If the Most High is not your king, then Satan is your king. The spiritually dead are led by the flesh. Satan operates in the flesh. Anything that caters to your flesh, Satan is the mastermind behind the lust of the flesh. The Most High said you cannot please him in the flesh. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. When you do not have a connection with the Most High, you become prey to the kingdom of darkness. Satan and the workers of iniquity can do whatever they want to you. Iniquity separate us from the Most High. Many people believe a spiritually dead person is no different from a person who suffer a physical death. That is false. When a person's spirit separates from their earthly body, that is the result of a physical death. The scripture said it is appointed unto men once to die after judgment. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. A spiritual death is different from a physical death. A physical death means your time is up in the physical realm. Suffering a physical death is not the end. It is worse to suffer a spiritual death. A spiritually dead person become a haven for unclean foul spirits. The individual is infested with unclean spirits. A spiritually dead person is no longer in control. 
Wicked, unclean spirits are influencing a spiritually dead person to do many things. They are the property of the kingdom of darkness. That is why they are the walking dead. Presently in the beast system, there are many spiritually dead people lining up to inject themselves with poison. The spiritually dead cannot discern properly. They have ears but cannot hear. They have eyes but they cannot see. They are zombies. Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not. It is difficult to reason with a spiritually dead person. When even Adam transgressed the commands of the Most High and ate from the forbidden tree, they did not drop dead, even though the Most High said, you would surely die. Satan made sure to inform Eve that she would not die, but become conscious, knowing good and evil. Eve made the decision to eat. Even Adam did not understand they would suffer a spiritual death. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Once Adam and Eve ate from the tree, they did not drop dead, but life as they know it became difficult. The rough lifestyle set the tone for the generations to come. Disobeying the commands of the Most High by eating from the forbidden tree changed the relationship dynamic between the Most High and the indigenous black people. The kingdom of darkness gained the opportunity to show the indigenous people evil. In addition, this gave disembodied spirits a home. Transgressing the laws of the Most High changes your relationship with the Most High. Sin separates you from the Most High. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Israelites, you do not want to become separated from the Most High, especially at such a time like this. The synagogue of Satan invested time, resources, and more to cause a separation between the indigenous people and their Elohim. There is a large population of spiritually dead people walking among us. The synagogue of Satan programmed these people into accepting their propagandas. The walking dead believe every word that comes from their leaders, governments, mainstream media, and the workers of iniquity who sacrifice them to their evil altars in religion. To the walking dead, they see nothing wrong with the beast system. They welcome the ways of the beast culture. Our current environmental condition should be a wake-up call to the indigenous people to separate from the beast culture to seek the most high. To the remnant, do not let the large population of the walking dead deceive you into trading the most high for the little gods. Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Unfortunately, Many indigenous people have traded the most high for the little gods in the beast system. Due to years of mental conditioning by the synagogue of Satan, many indigenous people have joined the large population of the spiritually dead people that are on the broad road to destruction. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. The scriptures inform us of what is coming to prevent the indigenous people joining the walking dead population. The awakening is giving the indigenous people an opportunity to repent. Also, deliver the indigenous black people from mind control. The Most High said to his people, have a sober mind because Satan roamed the earth like a roaring lion seeking whom he could devour. In addition, the Most High said, you must renew your minds. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Whoever control the mind, control the body. Every day the indigenous people are conditioned through television, music, the media, religion, and many other avenue the kingdom of darkness used to get the masses to submit to their propaganda. The walking dead believe they are making their own decisions. 
the workers of iniquity filter social media and choose for you whom to watch. Open diary is not recommended to everyone. Even though the workers of iniquity lie to the sheep and say they do not interfere. The social media giants have agents to shift the narrative to hot topics on social media. Many people believe they are forming their own opinions and making their own decisions. However, the synagogue of Satan is making the decisions for you by sending subliminal messages daily. It is time to wake up. You must have a strong connection with the Most High to recognize the strategies the kingdom of darkness used to control all people. Presently, the spiritually dead are doing whatever the kingdom of darkness tell them to do. Because many indigenous people live in fear due to the constant fear mongering on mainstream media, many indigenous people will submit. The kingdom of darkness managed to separate a large population of indigenous people from the Most High. It is important for you to understand, we do not wrestle with flesh and blood, but with principalities against powers and the rulers of the darkness of this world. We are dealing with spiritual wickedness in high places. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. When a mad scientist and a computer nerd support the genocide of the people, we must remember we are dealing with spiritual wickedness in high places. Our warfare is not with the computer nerd and the mad scientist. The warfare is with the kingdom of darkness that is raging war with the elect. It is important to attack the wicked powers and principalities that are causing the chaos than the puppets Satan deceive into carrying out his will in the physical realm. Cussing out the mad sciences is not going to change a thing. However, if you attack the wicked powers in the spirit realm and destroy their strongholds, you will begin to see change. Spiritual warfare is a must at this time. The mad scientists, the computer nerds, and all the workers of iniquity in high places do not realize they're being deceived. Because their love of money supersedes righteousness, they are willing to do anything to get more because he who have the money make the rules. Money give the wicked power in this generation. The scripture said, you cannot serve the most high in money. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon. The workers of iniquity in high places are not exempt from the walking dead population. Matter of fact, they are the most deceived. They have become consumed with iniquity that they are slaves to sin. Demons and unclean spirits are controlling their every move. This is why a mad scientist wants to test experimental drugs on the people under the disguise of containing a pandemic. To those of us with eyes to see, we can see how the kingdom of darkness is manipulating the walking dead. We can see the crimes the workers of iniquity are committing and mainstream media is covering it up. We can see how the synagogue of Satan use a pandemic to take control over governments and nations. The remnant can see the deception. The walking dead is blind to the deception because they have chosen to reject truth. Because they reject truth, they will remain captives. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. When the indigenous people start to believe their oppressors every word, they are the walking dead. The reason it was important for the seed of the fallen to infiltrate our scriptures and paint the images of themselves into our sacred text to deceive the indigenous people. In addition, to assume a godlike persona to the indigenous population. A spiritual people like the indigenous people will admire the people they believe the scriptures are speaking of. The indigenous people all over the world worship the seed of the fallen in religion and outside of religion. Stop allowing your oppressors to lead you. Give the Most High an opportunity to show you his glory. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. 
The goal of the kingdom of darkness is to separate the indigenous people from the most high. By doing this, it gives the kingdom of darkness control over the indigenous people. Separation from the most high, as well as rejecting truth, cause many indigenous people to become spiritually dead. The beast system is not going to educate the indigenous people of who they are and how to be delivered from captivity. The downfall of the indigenous people benefit the seed of the fallen. There are too many indigenous people who have become spiritually dead. It is time to draw near to the most high so he can draw near to you and wake up his people out of their slumber. To the indigenous black people, the fairy tales have ended. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. <laughs>